Hello friends, I am Um and today we are going to talk into the fantastic world of Linux after a long time. And today we have the most beautiful operating system ever designed with such beauty and animation. Plus, it has full-fledged AI capabilities integrated directly to the system. I am not talking about Gemini or Copilot. I am talking about a full-fledged large language model directly integrated to the system applications almost everywhere. And this operating system is way too faster and powerful than Windows 11. And it's Linux by the way. And if you still don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the most beautiful operating system in the world of Linux. It is Deepin Linux. And today we're gonna see the upcoming version Deepin 25. So let's get started, shall we? So here we are in the desktop right now and Looks like Deepin25 has a completely redesigned operating system layout, starting with the UOS AI bar, which is actually a full-fledged operating system integrated AI, which is designed to improve productivity throughout the operating system. Then we have a redesigned system tray as well. And then not to forget the launch pad, or what we call it, the start menu. Now, looks like the whole operating system is pretty beautiful. And the best thing I love about Deepin and Deepin desktop environment is that the theme which is applied to everywhere is also applied to every application as well. Just look at how beautiful this file explorer application is. And not just this, whether it's a browser which actually looks gorgeous and it is truly inspired by Chrome OS and it's obviously based on Chromium which is an open source version of Google Chrome. But talking about this thing then, it's pretty fluid and the design actually matches everywhere. Whether you talk about the browser or this calendar application they have, which also uses the same design and theme, icon packs, almost everything. Or let's just say, and so does this music application also uses the same design and thought. I believe that the idea of using the same design everywhere is pretty awesome. But you see, there are a few drawbacks with that as well. You see, right now, I'm using only the system application, which are literally looking just so damn beautiful. But let's say we use something which is not a system application. Wait, am I seeing a boot menu option here as well? Well, do you know that it is actually amazing? Like really, you can actually customize the boot menu directly from systems. As I said, this operating system is way too powerful than Windows 11. And we do have a hell lot, I, and I literally meant like a hell lot of themes which are literally like complete redesigns of each other. Let's go on with the blue one. Well then, let's just go on with bloom. Yep, this looks good as well. Then we have another called hazy color. Alright. Well then we have a vintage. Well, let's just go on with the bloom or maybe the flow. And now I'm wondering which was the original theme which was applied before. I believe it's this one. Yep, looks like it is. Maybe. Well then, let's just go on with the flow till then. Or maybe hazy color. Alright, this is way too much. Vintage. I actually like vintage as it is pretty minimal. Alright then, let's just go on with bloom. Now we have a few customizations as well. For example, we can change the docking style, change the size of the dock, as well as a few plugins, which are just the icons on the system tray. And then we have the windows effect, which actually is pretty good. We have the best visuals. Then we can go with changing the rounded corners. Well, I believe mediums is pretty enough. Enable transparency effect on moving windows. Well, I don't know what that is because I cannot see that. But like, really, really. More content is displayed in the window. Let's just try this. Compact mode. If enabled, more content is displayed. Maybe it is for the other applications other than... Alright, let's just turn this off and then open the application again. Well, it's probably for those other applications which uses this thick Windows title bar. Then we have Devices, Power, Account, Deepens ID, and System Optics. Well, it's pretty simple for me. But do you know one thing that the whole Deepin operating system actually is now an immutable distro? Well, it's called Solid OS. The core directory are mounted in read-only system which is like pretty good. And all of it is logged, we cannot even customize anything. And now it uses snapshot management as well. And as we all know, if it's an immutable desktop, then it also gonna be using atomic updates. So yeah, you don't need to worry about your security and safety as this is a full-fledged immutable solid operating system. And now they use a different type of VLAN compa 
compositor here. As you can see right now, it's deep in 25, the community preview edition, but maybe this is not showing it here, but in reality, it now uses a tree land valent compositor, which is completely different. It has improved display scaling, which is actually I'm using right now. As you can see, I'm already in the display scaling version and it is working pretty good. Caught me if you don't, or let's say, you see, as of I've experienced, display scaling on Linux has been the worst, but Deepin does a pretty good job here. And then we have other stuff as well. For example, we have distro subsystem as well. Let me just search for distro. Well, as I thought, it's not right here. We'll have to install it from the store. That is the app store. Well, if you don't know about distro box, all right, what, what is this super productivity, a tool to organize your daily drive, whatever? Well then, in my opinion, it's actually good. All right, it has most of the good amount of really popular applications directly here. For example, I really use SCRCPY to middle my Android devices. And then we have the Fluent Reader, which is also a beautiful application, VLC. So you see, most of the important applications which are recommended here as editor's choice, they all are actually pretty good. For example, we have OBS Studio right here. I believe they'd have Debian, as I thought. They have two package management. It has a Ling Long package manager, which is their own. Then it also uses Debian applications, which are like super duper stable. So you don't need to worry about stability of the application. And then we have an, a section of open source applications. There it is. Well, it is good that they're supporting open source community. And then they have their own application, which are like Lin app app. So these are the application which are designed by themselves. All right, let's try Vim here. It's not Vim, it's GVim, and it is in their own package management style, which is not that bad either. And now, as it is an immutable distro, it uses Debian, which can actually alter a few system things. But that's you see, no application is gonna touch the core system. But other than that, Debian applications can easily access, so it's actually a plus for me. And then the Lin apps. Most of them are immutable, which means all of them are going to be running in a container. So, if you still have thoughts about or ideas about whether it's safe or not, then believe me, it actually is safe. Well, safer than Windows for sure. And with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you do, then subscribe for more awesome tech videos uploaded on this channel non-consistently. And I'll meet you in the next video. Till then, I'm signing out.